There's a brand new feature in 8Scope that I want to bring to your attention. Software filters on 8Scope. Something uh, long anticipated and finally here, available on both channels. Tap filter and this dialog box opens up. It allows you to select between a low pass or a high pass filter. Let's take a low pass one for a demonstration here. And you enter the cutoff frequency. Let's make that 33 hertz. Now when you take a waveform, capture waveform, it's going to apply that low pass 33 hertz filter to it. So it could take a standard amp clamp relative compression test like this with a little bit of ripple running up and down the waveform and clean it up into a pencil thin waveform like this. Followers of the channel will know that we've been building hardware based RC filters, high pass and low pass ones. Is Martin, whom I've been collaborating with for the last couple of years, trying to put me out of business here? Actually, no. You know, like it's a great big world. There's enough room in here for software based filters, hardware based filters, and uh, having options uh, is all good. And I wouldn't uh, be too quick to give up on the hardware based filters. So, if you have a look at the high pass filter, which really was used to see if we could make out all the segments on a uh, starter armature, which is really like spinning at about 15,000 RPM times 24 little segments uh, on each revolution. Uh, it's probably ranks as one of the most difficult waveforms to capture featured on the channel here and the most difficult to interpret, all right? So here was the result with the H-Scope software 33 Hertz high pass filter. Uh, I mean, considering how difficult uh, it is to capture this, it's doing not that bad of a job. But compare it to uh, what the high pass filter uh, was able to do. And you can see that uh, in this particular example, the high pass filter you know, wins. But software filters have some big advantages too. So for one thing, uh, you don't have to physically build anything. For another, the application of filters is uh, just as much of an art as it is a science. Uh, sure, uh, we could make an educated guess as to the value of the filter we would require for the particular waveform we're dealing with, but nothing beats experimentation. And here's a case in point. Now, you guys will know that we've done a lot of work here on these $15 budget PSI sensors, right? So here's a raw waveform taken at 5 kilosamples per second. It's a bit rough around the edges to say the least, right? We've already discussed on this channel that by taming the sample rate going to maybe 1 kilosample per second can go a long way towards cleaning up that waveform. That strategy is fine if you only need that one channel, if you're not collaborating it with a second channel. But if you're going to be uh, using the pressure waveform for a top dead center reference, and you're going to collaborate it to a second channel that might be on the cam position sensor, or perhaps on the primary ignition, and you're trying to correlate top dead center with the second channel event that second channel won't be happy with one kilosample per second. It would be much happier at five kilosample per second. Enter HScope's new software filter capability where through experimentation, I was able to determine that a low pass 80 Hertz filter cleans this up just fine. And we can maintain the five kilosample per second sampling rate, which the second channel would much appreciate. Powerful stuff. Here's another new feature in HSCO, auto offset in probe calibration. If you set the auto mode in the probe calibration, when you do select that probe 
In the scope mode, 8 scope will automatically calibrate the zero position for that probe and automatically fill in the value in the offset field for that probe in the calibration. How cool is that? So while we're at it, let's recap all the work that's been done recently on these $15 budget PSI sensors. So we've cleaned up the waveform by applying a software 80 Hz low pass filter. We have a mod that allows more negative PSI range so as not to truncate the expansion pocket in the waveform. And H-Scope can auto calibrate the zero PSI position of these sensors, which is important when we analyze the exhaust pressure uh, portion of the waveform. You'll not find a more comprehensive approach to these $15 budget PSI sensors anywhere on the internet. And I've got a couple more tricks up my sleeve. So that's why you come here on the Gadgets playlist. Subscribe, like, talk to you guys soon.